Hello, I'm John Johnston. I'm doing my PhD at the Institute of Archaeology. I'm here today in the Petrie Museum of Egyptian Archaeology um, at University College London to talk a little about LGBT History Month. This is the third occasion now that the museum has celebrated LGBT History Month. Um, on the first two occasions, we held some special lectures and on this occasion we've devised a trail of various objects dotted around the museum uh, which help to illustrate various aspects of LGBT history in the ancient world. One of the objects which has been put on display specifically for this month is the, um, is the tale of Horus and Set which is told on a papyrus discovered by Petrie at Lahun. It dates from the 12th dynasty and um, tells the tale of Horus and Set wrangling over control of Egypt following the death of the god Osiris. Um, after many years of this wrangling, Set decides to change his, his tack and um, attempts to, to bed the god Horus, uh, flattering him, telling him that he has uh, beautiful buttocks and muscular thighs. Um, it's particularly fascinating that this um, oldest recorded chat-up line in history um, actually appears to be a gay chat-up line. We also have um, this relief from Koptos which shows the name of the king Nefakare Pepi II. Uh, we have a tale from a much later period of Egyptian history uh, which the noted Egyptologist Sir Alan Gardner described as being quite within the spirit of Herodotus it relates the story of the King Pepe II clambering up a ladder into his general Sassanet's uh, home late at night and staying there for four hours, only leaving after he has done what he desired of him. Um, there are many similar stories to be told by these objects on display in the Petri Museum. Um, for the month of February, we hope that you'll get the opportunity to come along and discover some of these tales with us.